Hello everyone and welcome back to this Trappy and Next.js tutorial series. In a previous video, we saw how to do pagination by offset, okay? Uh, and in this video, we are going to see how to do the same but with uh, a different pagination mechanism called pagination by pages. And like I explained it before, the difference is that um, pagination by offset basically tells uh, Strapi that, okay, skip the first, if start is, let's say, 200, it's telling Strapi skip the first 99 and fetch from 100 up to the limit that is provided. Whereas pagination by pages basically tells that, okay, what we want is to divide the database, the, the, the jobs that are in the, in the database in a number of pages. Okay, and each page has a size. In this case, let's say if you put 100, a page uh, will have um, 100 uh, jobs. Let's say a, a database with a thousand jobs and we say page size of 100. It means that in a database, we have 10 pages of jobs. Okay, and the first uh, page will have the jobs from ID number one to ID number 100. And the second page is gonna have the jobs from ID number two uh um 101 to id number 200 okay so um let's see how to add that into our application well we can't have both so we're gonna have to choose one so let's see this one here is basically we add a page so i'm gonna comment this out here i'm gonna add this like this and just like we did earlier um i'm not gonna add the default values here deeply embedded in the code because Ultimately, we want to be able to pass in parameters, these parameters from our uh, next year's pages, right? So like this, very good. Page, and same thing here. Uh, page size, let's say page, uh, let's say page two, okay? And page size two, very good. I think it's, it's, it's still gonna allow us, actually let's start with page one, okay? And if we refresh here, it's gonna give us the page the exactly is right. It's gonna work like we want. Okay, so now if we say page two is or page even three is gonna get the jobs uh, five and uh, five and um, six. Okay, five and six exactly. Now if we say three page size equals three, it's gonna return nothing. Because when we divide um, six by three, we have like the first page, the second page, uh, and that's it. We don't have a third page because if we, we say page size equals three, well, the first page get the first three, the second page got, gets the first uh, two, the, the, the next three, that's already six. So page three gets zero. Okay, so that's why we aren't, we aren't gonna get anything here, and that's exactly what we have, right? But whereas if you put two here, you're gonna get exactly four, five, and six, right? Hope you see the difference and you understand the difference between pagination by cursor or offset and pagination by pages. So that's it. Um, we're gonna going forward. We're gonna the thing we are fine with um, uh, pagination with uh, by pages. Uh, in this tutorial okay so that we're gonna that's what we're gonna use um in the next video what we're gonna see is um you remember our application if i look at it here again the final version deployed we have these filters here uh filter bar um we can filter by uh, different criteria like this okay we can filter like this so we're going to start building all these filters one by one in the subsequent videos okay so i see you there um, and uh, take care bye